They stand well. Ready, they're off. And breaking OK off the inside was the newcomer host at Wind Power. Not as quick though as uh, on the inside of them in the white jacket and blue stars. Prosperity Star slides to the front. Master of Cheers, your favourite, scorches across, or second favourite, uh, to sit at the girth of Prosperity Star. One belt, one roads alongside of him. Then host wind power, fourth the inside in a good spot. Now wanting to race a bit keenly, looks like he's hanging a bit, was Premier Choice. 50 flags gets on the back of host wind power, followed then by, in the blue cap, running in seventh is Wonder Holy. Then came Wonderful Story, who was prominent, but he seemed to lose his spot back against the inside was Vancouver Jaguar in the black and white then Apache Harry followed by Lucky and Wealthy drifting well back behind them then was Duke de Vega a long way back Fortune Master and Double Hill Spirit 600 metres out they've gone at a pretty fair clip Prosperity Star pressured by Master of Cheers Host Wind Power on the inside in third in the centre in the yellow cap one belt one road Premier Choice 50 flags in the white cap he's looking for space as they round the bend for home and over on the inside then was Vancouver Jaguar at the 200 metres and racing to the front now Master of Cheers, Master of Cheers Prosperity Star is giving plenty of cheek, Master of Cheers with a narrow lead from Prosperity Star 50 flags runs on late, Master of Cheers, Prosperity Star comes back on the inside, head up, head down and Master of Cheers has won by a short head from Prosperity Star with 50 flags third just in advance of Vancouver Jaguar and then Duke de Vega Wonder Holy Followed then by One Belt, One Road, Wonderful Story. Now, Host Wind Park. Next was Fortune Master, Premier Choice, Lucky and Wealthy, Apache Harry, and Double Hill Spirit. Great effort from that wide gate. I was worried about the wide gate with him, but uh, he's in good form again, this horse Master of Cheers, and he just kept biting on tooth and nail. Prosperity Stars ran a cracker at uh, around about $550. He was friendless in the betting, but he's almost uh, caused an upset here. Prosperity Star, Master of Cheers going to him. 50 flags. He found space and he started to wind up late in the centre and coming through on the inside Vancouver Jaguar, but the action was between these two and Prosperity Star, the inside. Master of Cheers, the outside. Master of Cheers has been able to get home here by around about a short head, I feel, from Prosperity Star. The four will run third, 50 flags, and you'll find the 13 Vancouver Jaguar will wind up in four spot. So let's have a look at the slow-mo. I called Master of Cheers just getting the bob. It's an interesting one. They're level pegging now, but Master of Cheers comes back on the outside to just get it. 50 flags has been a touch unlucky. He was held up coming to the turn. So his run's been full of merit. But six, the winner, Master of Cheers, and a good effort from that gate. He was used up noticeably early to get across. He closed off at around $50. He opened very short. He opened 1.8. That was a bit too short from gate 13, but he closed off around $58. Head on replay, Lucky Louie Corrales in the lime cap, Prosperity Star alongside of him. And they cleared out from the rest. The good run has been 50 flags, one away from the rail with Nunes, and another very good run in the race, Vancouver Jaguar, under Martin Weppner in the black and white colours. But Master of Cheers just a bit too strong and has gone home too well for them to beat the uh, the long shot prosperity star master of cheers is a six-year-old chestnut australian bread girling suazar had a vision louis corrales for rambo che kc wong for second the seven prosperity star akash or 